Welcome to another Orlando luxury home tour with myself, Mike Malave. This time, we're in Winter Park, one of the best places to live in Orlando. This home is in Pennsylvania Place, one of the most coveted places to live in Orlando. It's only 28 homes in this community. Guys, if you want something that's quiet, private, five minutes to golf, 15 minutes to shopping or anything else, this may be the one for you. That's enough chit chat, let's walk and talk, guys. So, we just stepped inside and like I mentioned before, this is one of the most private communities here in Winter Park. Winter Park is one of the most coveted places to live in Orlando. It's known to give you that nice homey feeling, but yet still in the middle of everything, there's not really many communities here that are gated and whatnot. So this actual community called Pennsylvania Place is not gated. This particular home is one of 28 homes in this community and they're all custom built so not one is alike as we just came in the front door here is what originally you could tell used to be used as some form of formal dining room i kind of really like this house a lot i'm actually a little bit excited to show you guys this one so we actually mapped out how we would live in this house so i'm gonna give you a little tidbit about what i would do. for me formal dining room, use it as much as comes over the living room outside of this. so this would be a nice little sitting room or bar area we would definitely put a nice little tv up here Right, so TV, have a nice little bookshelf, some very comfortable chairs. You do have the plantation shutters, so you can actually close those and cut off all the light coming into here. Of course, who doesn't like to eat? This sitting room is right off of the kitchen. Now, this kitchen has beautiful wood cabinets, marble countertops, and it is pretty much set up to enjoy. Looking at this right here, this is not the main sink. Yes, it's a wet bar right in the middle. You have your main sink over there, all your stainless steel appliances that are all nicely, nicely situated. You have a gas stove. You have the professional refrigerator. I love the size of this fridge. And you have an extended little space here for a nice little work area or just a quick place if you wanna pay any bills or just use a quick little laptop. This also could be used as like a little breakfast area. Yes, I'm pretty tall. This lamp can be raised up, but that's a personal preference type of thing. This particular kitchen was nicely done. It may look like it's an older home, but it was custom done only back in the year 2000. Now, this is the main living area. It is a great amount of space. I'll show you the outdoor space in a little bit. That's actually my second favorite place in this home. I got a little secret spot upstairs I wanna show you. And this is where the main living would occur. You can see these windows or these doors on the side here double doors leading you out to the screened in back patio, but those blinds are all electronic. Behind me here, you would have your larger television set, or I would have my larger television set, and you would just have a large, beautiful, comfy sectional right here. I think you could fit a sectional that would seat about seven different people right here, nice little L shape, and you still wouldn't block the main entryway, you wouldn't block the exit going on out to the outdoor patio. Now, you do have downstairs as well the laundry room. Laundry room is back here in the corner, right off of the two-car garage. Something else at Winter Park is since it's older homes, you don't really get large garages. But here, right off of this laundry room that you're taking a look at, you have a full two-car garage. A true two-car. And we'll take a look out back in the, in the end, but there's actually a driveway you could fit maybe three more additional vehicles in the driveway itself. This home is a three bedroom, two and a half bathroom, and it's only 2,600 square feet, but it has everything you can possibly need in it. Right here, off of the staircase, you do have a half bath. It is currently personalized to what the previous owner wanted, but this half bath can be very easily renovated if it's not your style to make it updated, give a nice little fresh pop look. You have your two bedrooms downstairs. What I'm walking in right now is a full bedroom. Look at these built-in closets, very nicely done. Double doors, you can close this off. And you have a huge bedroom here. For us personally, the way that we plan this out, this would kind of be like our guest room. This would be our guest room. We can also use this as a secondary office if you wanted to, just close off those double doors. There we have the blinds on it, and you're in here getting your work done, or the guests can just have their own little comfortable space. Right off of this guest room, it is a Jack and Jill bathroom. Now this bathroom does have a single sink. It does have the stand-up shower. And of course, you got your little privacy thrown right there. This is right off of the other bedroom. Now this other bedroom has a giant mirrored wall. 
So this could have been used for some sort of exercise room or something like that in the past. If you look over here, you see I'm doubled. <laughs> Again, you do have the plantation shutters to kind of control the lighting that comes in here. Really high ceilings. I'd say, to be honest with you, all these doorways are over, these got to be eight, nine feet tall doorways. And these have to be about 10 feet or 11 foot high ceilings. This is your other closet here. Let me open this for you here. Right off of the other bedroom, double doors for this closet. And they're kind of open up all the way. Boom, boom. And that's the conclusion of your two bedrooms downstairs. Now, this home has all the necessities. If you don't want to have too many things going on, if you don't want to have so much space, you have to worry about taking care of, this would be a great secondary home or a great primary home. This secondary home is tucked away in a one block radius in Pennsylvania place. Like I said, 28 homes, all circling one little area. Give me a second guys, let's take our way up to the primary suite and the pretty cool secrets I got saved for you upstairs. Give me a second, let's go on up. Now we're making our way upstairs. Even this staircase was nicely done with the lighter colored wood to match the stairs along with the handrails. And upstairs, the only reason why you would come up here is for the primary suite. Now. Stepping into this primary suite, they did take out the light at the current moment, but you can still see me due to the natural light that came here. Now, you probably just saw me in the beginning of this video out on the balcony. That balcony I showed you is right here off of this primary bedroom. So stepping up here on the balcony, you can possibly fit a nice little small table, but this is really nice for a lounging, relaxing area to even read a book. Anyways, let's head back inside. Let's get some AC. <laughs> So, like I mentioned before, this house has all the needs you could want. I'm gonna show you the bathroom first. Let's look at this bathroom. This bathroom is very nicely set up. You do have dual vanities on each side. Yes, it was built in 2000 to the previous owner's liking. This bathroom can be easily done and customized. Look at all the space you have in here. Now you do have a full jetted tub in the back along with a private throne room and your step up shower with the glass enclosure. Now, easily can renovate this bathroom, tons of space to do what you'd like, shutter windows upstairs too, but I really wanna show you the secret room. So, this home has a beautifully large closet. We're standing in the closet right now. I would say this closet has gotta be 15 feet long. Now, it has all built-ins in here. So, you don't really have to put up anything unless you want even a more custom built-in. But the secret to this house is, you have an additional secondary closet in the back. I would call this the back room. So for me, ideally, I would probably, probably make this some sort of man cave. I'd come in here, set up a little workstation, do something just for me in my own personal space. You're right off of the primary closet, but you can't hear anything. You close that door, you put a blind out there, you wouldn't be able to find me. And here, these extra doors that you're looking at, those are the two air conditioners for the home, and you have more built-in closet space. So really, if you want extra closet space, you can have it, or you can build that into another secret space. You can put a safe back there, you can put your security systems back there. I would make that into a nice little man cave. Anywho, guys, let's go back downstairs and let's take it to the backyard, which is also very cozy. Give me a minute. And let's head to the backyard. See you in a second, guys. So, myself personally coming from New York, I had a backyard. Not many people have backyards. Actually, a lot of homes in New York are pretty close together. This kind of gives you that feeling of being very homey, but you have all the private space you can want. Right now, I'm standing outside in the back patio. It is completely screened in. You don't have to worry about any of the bugs, any of the lizards that come along with Florida. But here, you have a natural sunlight above you, you do have a hood already prepped and ready for your summer kitchen. That's something that we do outside a lot. You cook a lot outside. My family, personally, we probably use the outdoor kitchen just as much as the inside kitchen. I'd say we're 50-50. Even during the winter time, it's great to be out here to feel this air coming in and enjoy the outdoor living in Florida. Anyway, taking it back to the outdoor space here. Now you have this screened in space and you do have additional living space outside. Follow me. So as you see, it is brick paved the entire way. 
Now this also takes you to your driveway parking space area, but it's tucked away. It's very private. Here it looks like they used to have a, some sort of fireplace or maybe some sort of exterior fountain over here. I would possibly make this into a small pool area, even though this pavered may not look like it's big enough. Where I'm standing is the opposite side. You can make a really good size pool back here and still have some grass area left over for the dogs if you wanted to. We personally were thinking we could just remove this whole treed in area at the moment, put that nice little rubber texture and we can have a nice little play place for our son. He'd be able to jump, play back here. We put a nice little cover, give him some additional shade and still all while being in the middle of everything. When I want to go play golf, I can actually walk my clubs across the street. It's less than five minutes to get to the Winter Park golf course. If you want to go shopping, you can walk to the nearest shopping area. Pretty much the reason why this home is priced the way it is and why it's such a great deal is because of the location. Winter Park is amazing. Winter Park has tons of huge mansion homes. You can see those on my other videos that I post on my channel. But this one is nice and cozy, custom done, very private little home listed for 1.15 million. Now I'm gonna do a quick wrap up of this home. We just take a look at this Penn Place home in Winter Park, Florida, listed for 1 million.15. Now it's three bedroom, two and a half bath, located in the beautiful 28 custom home community of Pennsylvania Place. Two car garage, beautiful driveway that expands behind all these trees and it's a private driveway entry to even get to your driveway itself. It actually took me two minutes to realize this driveway was back here originally. So this home is currently for sale. Guys, if you have any additional questions, thank you so much to Angela for allowing us to show your beautiful listing from HomeWise Realty. Give me a call guys, it's Mike Malave. It's been a pleasure. If you've seen the rest of my videos, don't forget to like and subscribe. It does help my channel grow. Please give me a call down below. 407-680-1300. It's been a pleasure once again. I really like this home. Mike Malave, peace.